was nothing else I could do. Wally had disappeared out the window, and the dean was on his way upstairs. Well, all I can say is I hope the dean appreciates what you're doing. Oh, I'm sure he will. What about your classes? Well, I won't miss any. See, the guys will carry me around to all my classes. Yeah, and everybody will think I have a nut for a husband. Well, only till the end of the week. Then I'll be the campus hero. My picture will be in all the papers. Well, suppose the guy from Rutgers stays in bed longer than a week. Well, he won't. That's just it. He thinks he's the only one doing it, and he doesn't start until 10 o'clock tonight. Well, okay. I'll get your dinner and bring it in here. Oh, uh, Chris, uh, would you mind moving that chair so I could watch television? And would you turn it on for me? Oh, uh, would you hand me that paper, please? Thanks. Would you like me to fluff your pillows up for you? Oh, yeah, would you please? Yeah, sure was good. Thank you. The service was pretty good, too. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't finished with this. Well, I guess you are now. You want to get me a damp cloth? I'll get you some clean sheets. And hey, where are you going? I'm going to do the dishes while you change the sheets. Me? Sure, it's your bed. Well, look, can I... Chris? Well, good night. Night. That wasn't much of a kiss. Wasn't supposed to be. Turn off the lights. Do you have any classes? Not till this afternoon. Well, I'll see you on the campus. Not if I can help it. Well, if I don't see you today, I'll see you tonight. Oh, no, you won't. What do you mean? We took a vote and decided it was too much trouble to bring you all the way home. All you have to do is roll me around with these wheels on the bed. It's still too much trouble. You can stay at the fraternity. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs>
Okay. Dave, Ruth's here. Well, it's about time. Get him started on that mailing list, will you? And where's he been the last couple of days? Well, maybe you better talk to him. What's the matter? He's still in bed. I thought you said he was here. Well, he is, but he's still in bed. Uh, I'll be right out. Hi. Well, what in the heck is this all about? Well, it's kind of a long story. I I'm involved in a contest, you might call it. Actually, it's a favor I'm doing for Dean Harris. Well, I don't care about that. Get this bed out of here. We got work to do. Well, if the bed goes, I go. What are you talking about? I gotta stay in bed for a week. It's the Dean's orders. It was supposed to have been Wally, but he had a date with Ginger. Well, I don't want to hear about it. Come on, fellas, get him out of here. How come? I can work. Not in here, you can't. This is the law office. Look like we're stealing clients right out of the ambulance. <laughs> I got people coming in here. Okay, if you insist. And if this is just a gag of yours to get out of addressing those envelopes. No, oh, honest, you'll read all about it in the paper next week. Hey, maybe I can get him to mention the name of the firm. You do when you're fired. <laughs> Well, hi, Doc. Hi, Oz. Come on in. Thank you. Harry, did you send for the doctor? No, I feel fine. Hi, Doc. Oh, hi, Harry. Well, you look wonderful. I sure keep you in good shape, don't I? You sure do, and thank you. Uh, how you feeling, Doc? Uh, well, I've got a little stiffness in this shoulder, and my back gives me a little trouble once in yeah, a while. I'm sorry I asked you. Sit down, won't you? Uh, no, no thanks, Oz. I can't stay. I just dropped by to see if everybody is okay. Oh, yeah, we're fine, thank you. Uh, what about the boys? Well, uh, they were fine the last time I saw them. Okay, Oz, we've been friends for a good many years now, so I might as well get right to the point. I, I wish you would. <laughs> Who's your new doctor? New doctor? What are you talking about? Well, after all, I brought the boys into the world. I took care of them through whooping cough, measles, runny noses, and watched them grow into fine young men. So when one of them's confined to bed for some reason, I think I ought to know about it. Who's confined to his bed? Well, Ricky is. He's been in bed almost a week. You mean you didn't hear about? No. Wh who told you this? Well, one of my patients said he saw some fellas pushing Rick across the campus. Pushing him across the campus? Yeah, he, he was on a bed with wheels on it. Well, I wonder what's wrong. Uh, uh, Harriet, would you phone Rick? Hi, Chris. Fine. Uh, we were a little worried. Doc Williams heard something about Rick's being in bed all week. What's the matter? Shh, nothing. Nothing? They have to rush him across the campus to the medical center in his bed, and you say nothing's the matter? Well, okay, thanks, dear. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Uh, what is it? I don't know. She said something about there being a contest to see who could stay in bed the longest. She said Dean Hopkins was mixed up in it somehow. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. I know it. You know, I think she's just covering up to keep us from getting worried. Uh, where is he, did she say? Yes, he's at the fraternity. Well, why isn't he home? I don't know, but I think we'd better find out. No, no, uh, don't get excited. It might just be a broken leg. You know, a simple fracture. Should I call the doctor? I'm here. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, you sure you're not going to get into any trouble about this? Well, how can I? It was the dean's idea. Oh, and thanks a lot for the flowers, the candy, and the fruit. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's okay. That's okay. We're just glad you're feeling all right. Hey, what happened to the bananas? Well, there were only two. Well, maybe three. Lots <laughs> of candy. Oh, just great. Thanks a lot. Hey, well, save some for me. You're not the one who's sick, you know. Well, he will be if he finishes that whole box. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the top layer, but not the whole box. <laughs> you're sure you're feeling all right, huh? Oh, yeah, honest, Mom, I feel great. Uh, a little tired of lying in bed, but other than that, I feel fine. Okay, we believe you. I know it sounds like a pretty crazy stunt, but you'll read all about it in the paper. I'm afraid Dr. Williams still thinks I'm sick. Oh, you mean because of this? No, I just put this on for technical reasons. Now I can charge your father for a house call. <laughs> uh, that figures. Now, as your family physician, may I suggest we all go home and let the patient get some rest? That's just what I need. <laughs> Well, you want to look like a guy who's been in bed for a week, don't you? Look, if he's going to have his picture in the paper representing our fraternity, then he's got to look nice. Here, I'll do that. Hey, you guys. Dean Hopkins is here. Okay, send him in. We're ready. Oh, good afternoon, Dean Hopkins. Come right in. Good afternoon, boys. Well, there he is, still in bed. <laughs> Hello, Dean Hopkins. Hi. Well, you're looking at the new world champion. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, you can get out of bed now, Mr. Nelson. All hail the new champion! Oh, correct. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Please, now hold it, fellas, as the dean wants to make a speech. I just want you to hold the noise down a little. Somebody's liable to hear you. What do you mean? 
Well, I'm afraid there's been a little misunderstanding. You mean that goof off back at Rutgers is still in bed? Now, just a second, Plumstead. The young man back at Rutgers is not a goof off. In fact, I understand he's a straight A student, a science major, and very serious about his work. Well, then why would he get involved in a nutty stunt like this? Well, that's just it. It wasn't as nutty as I thought. It seems that I was the victim of some misinformation. But you said he was going to stay in bed for a week. That's right. He and two other students. They were conducting scientific tests as part of our space program to determine the physical effects on an astronaut who would be confined to a small area for six or seven days. Scientific tests? That's right. You'll probably read about it in the papers. Well, what about me? I haven't been out of this bed for a week. Will you read about me in the papers? Well, we hope not, don't we? I've spoken to the editor of our campus newspaper, and he's promised to cooperate. You mean there won't be any publicity at all? Well, as I say, we hope not. After all, we'd look pretty silly if word got out that we were indulging in crazy campus hijinks while other universities were conducting scientific experiments as part of our space program. Yes, sir. Sorry about this, Rick. But you know the old saying, that's showbiz. <laughs> Well, so long, boys. So long, then, Doc. Goodbye, Dean Hopkins. You know something? He was wrong. There is a trap door in his office after all. Yeah, and I fell through it. Boy, everybody on the campus is going to think I'm a nut. It's lucky I've got you guys to back up my story. What story? Yeah, what story? <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> oh, we're only kidding you, Rick. To the rest of the world, you may be a nut, but to us, you're the campus hero. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny, which nobody can deny, which nobody can deny. Kind of get you right here, doesn't it? <laughs>